There are many countries as well as states in America that impose the death penalty. However, some of them have an interesting custom where the soon to be executed death row prisoner can choose whatever food he desires as his last meal. What's even more fascinating are the kinds of foods they sometimes request. Here are 10 of the strangest last meals ever requested on death row. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more awesome content and click on the notification bell so you know when we publish new videos. Let's start! Number 10. Timothy McVeigh Timothy McVeigh was an American Army veteran who became a domestic terrorist. Together with two other conspirators, Terry Nichols and Michael Fortier, he accounted for the killing of 168 people, including many children, as well as injuring 684 other victims. He was the one responsible for the horrible event in 1995, which was infamously called the Oklahoma City Bombing. This was the second most significant terrorist act in US history, next to the 9-11 attacks. In 1997, a jury recommended that McVeigh receive the death penalty, and was later sentenced to death for 168 counts of murder. However, his execution was postponed due to several appeals. He was finally executed through lethal injection in the year 2001. For his last meal, he asked for two pints of mint chocolate chip ice cream. Number 9. Ronnie Lee Gardner Ronnie Lee Gardner is another American criminal that was sentenced to death. In 1984, he shot and killed a bartender named Melvin John Otterstrom. In 1985, he murdered an attorney named Michael Burdell during a failed escape attempt from his transport to a court hearing for a previous crime. He also stabbed an inmate in 1994. Luckily, the victim survived. Gardner's case took 25 years in the court system until his execution. In 2010, he was executed through a firing squad, which caught a lot of media attention. For his last meal, he requested steak, lobster tail, apple pie, and vanilla ice cream. He ate all of these while watching the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Number 8. Ricky Ray Rector Ricky Ray Rector received the death penalty for two counts of murder. In 1981, he pulled out a 38 caliber pistol and fired several shots which resulted in wounding two and killing a man named Arthur Criswell. It all started when Rector's friend was denied entry into Tommy's old-fashioned home-style restaurant in Conway, Arkansas. He refused to surrender until he could talk to Officer Robert Martin, whom he had known since childhood and he later killed. After killing his victims, he put the gun to his own temple and fired. The other police officers immediately tended to him and he underwent brain surgery. In 1992, he was convicted with the death penalty through lethal injection. For his last meal, Rector requested steak, fried chicken, cherry Kool-Aid, and a slice of pecan pie. He didn't eat his pie as he was saving it for later. We're unsure whether he was making a joke or if he was unaware of his actual situation due to his brain damage. Number 7. Stephen Michael Woods Jr. Stephen Michael Woods Jr. is another American sentenced to the death penalty using lethal injection. In 2001, he was convicted for the murder of two drug dealers named Ronald Whitehead and Bethina Brosh. His case also caught media attention as it was filled with controversies. While his co-defendant Marcus Rhodes pleaded guilty, Woods, on the other hand, had no physical evidence connecting him to the act of murder. In 2011, before his sentence was carried out, he said that the world wasn't witnessing an execution, but rather a murder. As his last meal, he ordered a tremendous amount of food and drinks, which included five chicken fried steaks, a large four-meat pizza, two hamburgers with bacon, two pounds of bacon, a dozen garlic breadsticks, and french fries. He also ordered two servings each of sweet tea, Pepsi, fruit beer, and Mountain Dew. For dessert, he requested two pints of ice cream. Obviously, there was no way he could consume all of his requests before his last breath. Number 6. Thomas J. Grasso 
The story of Thomas J. Grasso was another double murder case where the perpetrator was sentenced to death using lethal injection. A day before Christmas of 1990, he killed an 87-year-old woman named Hilda Johnson so he could take a measly amount of $8 from her purse, $4 in loose change, and a television set which he sold for $125. Six months later, he murdered an 81-year-old man named Leslie Holtz just to steal his social security check. Grasso's execution took place in 1995 at Oklahoma State Penitentiary. He was 32 at the time. His last meal before his demise included two dozen steamed mussels, two dozen steamed clams, a Burger King double cheeseburger, and a half a dozen barbecued spare ribs. His dessert was diced strawberries, two strawberry milkshakes, and half of a pumpkin pie with whipped cream. He also specifically requested SpaghettiOs with meatballs. An hour before he died, his final statement was about his last meal not being fully honored as he got regular spaghetti instead of SpaghettiOs. Number 5. Lawrence Russell Brewer Together with two other co-defendants who considered themselves white supremacists, Lawrence Russell Brewer carried out one of the worst crimes ever committed by murdering a 49-year-old black man named James Byrd in 1998. In 2011, Brewer was executed by lethal injection. For his last meal, he made a massive request consisting of a pound of barbecue, three fajitas, a triple meat bacon cheeseburger, two chicken fried steaks, a meat lover's pizza, fried okra, a slab of peanut butter fudge topped with crushed peanuts, and a pint of ice cream. What's even more strange was that after his feast arrived, he told the prison officials he's not hungry and left the entire meal untouched. Number 4. James Edward Smith James Edward Smith was a former tarot card reader, voodoo priest, and cab driver. In 1983, he robbed an office of the Union Life Insurance Company carrying firearms and wearing a mask. The robbery incident resulted in a more serious act of crime as Smith killed an insurance executive named Larry Rois. During his time on death row, it was told that he seemed glad and that he had accepted his fate. However, his mother petitioned for an appeal, stating that her son suffered from mental health problems and was just badly influenced by black magic, voodooism, and witchcraft. In 1990, his death penalty through injection was finalized. As his last request, instead of asking for a delicious meal, he made an even stranger request. His request? A pile of riacunda dirt so he could perform a voodoo ritual. His request was not granted, though, and instead, he was given yogurt. Number 3. Robert Dale Conklin In 1984, Robert Dale Conklin was accounted for the murder of his live-in lawyer boyfriend named George Crooks. His crime was discovered when a maintenance worker came to Conklin's apartment complex to collect aluminum cans from a trash dumpster, but instead he found knives and things that belonged to Crooks. Even before the murder, Conklin was already on parole for a past robbery case. He stated that it was self-defense, which was not accepted in court because of how brutally the victim was killed. He also made a last-minute clemency, which was also denied. He was then executed with lethal injection in 2005. For his last meal, he requested an absurdly expensive feast which consisted of deveined shrimp sautéed in garlic butter with lemon and filet mignon wrapped with bacon. On the other side, he had asparagus with hollandaise sauce, baked potato with butter, sour cream, chives, real bacon bits, french bread with butter, and corn on the cob. He also requested apple pie, cantaloupe, goat cheese, vanilla bean ice cream, and a glass of iced tea. Number 2. Gary Carl Simmons Jr. Gary Carl Simmons Jr. was a former grocery store butcher. In 1996, he killed a 21-year-old man named Jeffrey Wolf, who was collecting a drug debt. The victim's girlfriend, who later escaped, was also assaulted. He was then executed through lethal injection in 2012 for kidnapping and murder. For his last meal, he asked for a massive amount of food, which equaled to 29,000 calories, including two pizzas, five pounds of cheese, supersized french fries, nacho-flavored Doritos, cherry cokes, milkshakes, and strawberry ice cream. 
When asked whether Simmons was able to finish his last meal, the Department of Correction claimed he had eaten at least half of it 45 minutes before his execution. Number 1. Philip Workman Philip Workman was sentenced with the death penalty for the murder of a police officer named Ronald Oliver. Workman's case was also covered with controversies, as appeals are saying the bullet that killed the police officer was not from him. Many protested for justice, including many high-profile individuals. His final meal was also an interesting story. Instead of asking for a large meal that was impossible to consume completely by himself, he instead asked for a large vegetarian pizza to give away to the homeless. However, his gesture was not honored, resulting in hundreds of people in Tennessee ordering pizza to give to homeless people across the state. And there you have the 10 strangest last meals ever requested on Death Row. If we missed someone you think should be included on the list, let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time!